The Korean people have always longed for freedom and have not been very fortunate in that area. For hundreds of years, they were conquered off and on by their neighbors. In the north, we have a dictatorial regime that has been there since the, well, I guess 19, at least 1950, probably a little before, but it doesn't matter. It's been there that long. In the south, we've had military generals, Park Chung-hee, Chen Duan, No Tae-yu. In 1988, No Tae-yu was elected president, actually elected by the people, and only because two opposition party leaders, selfish ones, couldn't pick one of them to run against him. So he won in a plurality. After that, South Korea basically became a somewhat democratic society. And they've had a good run. South Korea has grown leaps and bounds. Their economy has been good. They're what we call a paper tiger. That's okay. They're doing really well. Or they were. K-pop is the rage around the world. <laughs> Samsung phones, Hyundai cars. I mean, it's an incredible growth by South Korea. But now, President Yoon suk Yeol. <laughs> I can make fun of that middle name, but I won't. Yoon suk Yeol has declared martial law in the Republic of Korea or South Korea. That has not happened since 1980 under Chandu He was one of those general slash dictators. Yun Suk Yeol got his clock cleaned, his party got their clock cleaned in the last midterm election. So the opposition parties now control two-thirds of their parliament or national assembly. Yun Suk Yeol is frustrated because he can't get anything done because he doesn't know how to talk. He doesn't know how to compromise with people. And since he's an unpopular president, he's a, a minority president. Figure that one out. And since he's frustrated and can't handle it, he has decided to usurp all power. Yun suk Yeol has declared martial law. All, and all political activity, according to him, except for his, now ceases. Newspapers, television, all media will now be run by him or his designees. There is no freedom of speech. There is no freedom of press. There is no freedom to gather. All gatherings are now canceled. There's nothing. Martial law. Martial law. The people of South Korea are no longer free. Clashing in the streets has already begun. Citizens Civilians, citizens, protesters, people yearning to be free are now clashing with the police and I suspect very soon it will be the military. The military is at this moment outside of the National Assembly building. I know where that's at. I've been there. Those of the National Assembly who could enter or got in before the military shut it down, closed it off. 190 of them, 190, voted to lift martial law. Was it a uh, majority vote? It was not. It was a unanimous vote. 190 to 0 to lift the martial law. But still, dictator Yun Suk Yeol remains. The military backs him. 
the police are doing his bidding. The last time South Korea had martial law, people died. Many people died. I fear that if this martial law does not end soon, the same will happen. It's inevitable. Demonstrators demonstrate. Koreans demonstrate much more fiercely than we do here in the West. They will react and they will fight against the police. They've done it before. They'll do it again. And they're right. They claim to be a democratic society. But when a president, a minority president, can just declare martial law whenever he freaking feels like it and take complete control of the country because he doesn't like what the other party is doing, you are not a democracy. You are, in fact, a banana republic. South Korea is now a banana, a banana, a banana republic led by a weak dictator. I beg the army, I beg the police, stop. Do not allow this man to usurp all freedoms of your people. Yun Suk Yeol must, in my opinion, end this martial law. And now since he has lost the trust completely of the people of South Korea, he must resign. His presidency is no longer of any effect. I end this statement there. This must end. Granddaddy P signing out.